morning I'm just going to read um, a few verses from, from Philippians 3. John, you need the mic. Christ, the Lord's Supper, of course. While they were eating, Jesus took some bread, and after a blessing, he broke it and gave it to the disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And when he had taken a cup and given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for forgiveness of sins. Second verses are from Isaiah 53. From verses 4 to 6. Surely our griefs he himself bore, and our sorrows he carried. Yet we ourselves esteemed him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was pierced through for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. The chastening for our well-being fell upon him. And by his scourging we are healed. All of us like sheep have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way. But the Lord has caused the iniquity of us all to fall on him. And the third one was from 1 Corinthians the well-known one of Paul's, verse 23 to 30. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, in the night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also, after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink, this, drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Therefore, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat the bread and drink the cup. For he who eats and drinks, eats and drinks judgment to himself if he does not judge the body rightly. For this reason many among you are weak and sick and in number sleep. So here we've read of three witnesses to this momentous event that, that the, the supper was leading up to. We have Matthew, he was sitting at the table there with Jesus at the time, at the supper. And then we have Isaiah, by the spirit of prophecy, looking down the centuries and, and to this one momentous event, the most momentous event of history of man. And then we have Paul, by direct revelation from the Lord, um, saying how he, setting it out like we just read. So there's this this healing and this forgiveness at this table, but it is received by faith. We come by faith believing, and so and there's a warning there too. Um, if you have unforgiveness in your heart towards someone, get that right before you come forward and take of this. If you have sin that you is unconfessed, confess it before you come to this table, um, because there is a warning given as well. It's, it's quite serious business. So there we have it. Come and receive. Believe and receive what God is offering here. Forgiveness and healing. This is what's at this table. So, this morning just come. Come believing in Jesus' name.